Trapper is just a normal killer. You you don't see him a lot, just saying. But hey, yeah, I'm I'm gonna do this. Got it. Trapper can put on traps at like any place. Like a pallet. This is really good because survivors won't intend on stepping on the bear trap ah! except for this Dwight. Mm. Thanks, man. Uh, Dwight is now <laughs> Dwight is now trapped. He he can either struggle out, which he's which he just did. I did not hear any audio cue. Or okay. he can <laughs> hey. Or he can just go down, or I can pick him up on the trap, which would have been nice to show if I actually heard him do audio cues. Also, another thing, he, if a teammate is close by, he can get out the trap. If he even was on one. <clears throat> now, he, he's down on the ground. Of course, just like every killer match. The first perk from Trapper is Agitation. Carries increases by 12 meters, and your movements be well carrying survivors 18% faster, so making you be able to hook survivors quicker in time and get to further different places, especially with one perk, which will be way later on. I assure you. Go and go and unhook, okay? I, I I'll, I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut most of this. <laughs> So I placed a trap somewhere near the hill over there, as you can see with that gem. Survivors who are dumb enough and don't look at the ground will step on them, but survivors that actually do look at the ground will not step on them and will try to disarm them. Now if my friend over here, Nova, <coughs> could you yep. like, need, like near, near shack, near shack, can, can you like hurry up please? I can just wait for me until I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Now Nova will try to disarm the trap. She's disarming the trap right now as we speak. That trap has been disarmed. If an audio cue plays, you know that trap is disarmed. Someone or either someone has stepped on it if they scream and you hear the ding noise. Also, possibly shut the fuck. And also possibly. I'm not sure on this. If Trapper steps on his own trap, it'll make an audio cue sound. Next perk is Brill Strength. Drop this pallet, please. Trapper has these all, all these three perks, by the way. So, Brill Strength allows him to break pallets, walls, and generators faster. Next is Unnerving Presence to do this goddamn fucking gen. <laughs> Unnerving Presence makes survivors do do skill checks more often, 10%, but the zone is decreased by 60%. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it is a downside. It, with experienced survivors, they will hit great skill checks a lot more. Not a really good perk to bring. This, however, this only activates if they're in your tear radius, which is 32 meters on Trapper. And all other kills would be like four, uh, be like 24 meters, or if you're playing as Michael, 6 meters, don't use it. If you're playing as Huntress, 20 meters. And if you are playing as Wesker, it would be 40 meters, which is god awful. <laughs> That's basically all the basics on Trapper, but certain Trappers would like to do something called Fake pal uh, fake Trap, which would mean they would try to place down a trap near a pallet or a looping area which would be Shaq, and they just completed that gen. <laughs> okay. If you're in, if you see a Trapper placing in the, uh, where's the pallet at? <clears throat> if you see a Trapper placing down a trap near tiles like this, they will, they will go like this, wait till the survivor can move away, and then go where they're at. So please demonstrate for, I uh, like to vault that. Try to vault, yep, yeah, okay. Then you start running away. Then you start running away. And you could do this to stop survivors. But if a good survivor knows what you're trying to do, 
Don't worry, they're gonna be a pain in the ass for you. Trevor is a really easy kill to understand, but is very hard to play against if lots of survivors know what to do against them. So keep that in mind if you're gonna man a trapper. Unless you're aughts. 